Hey guys, Coach Matt Lindlin here, and uh, we've been working on a lot of guard passing in uh, our series that we're working here at our gym. And we use a lot of a lot of motion, changing angles, uh, creating our, our angles where his push pressures aren't facing us, and then we're using a lot of pressure. So I'm um, gonna grab Taylor here. So a lot of this is happening from the standing guard. So if this guy opens the attack or work guard breaks, and we cover guard breaks, he's gonna want to make as many connections as he can. Oh, he's got a sleeve. I got to deal with this. But if I can get up, he's got a he's got a hand on my foot here, as you can see. I need to clear this out of the way. But if I can get just these feet on me right here, there's a lot of options I can do. So I can either go around him, and we've been working this footwork here, where I push my pressure in, and I feel that energy where he's trying to move me off. I go away to where he can't push anymore. I start going around these. Uh, shuffle step, two steps. We're using all this footwork going both directions. As he's facing me this way, his push pressures are facing me. I'm gonna start going around and looking to attack the backside. So one of our most frequently used is Peter on me and I open this up and I, as I'm going through here, I'm gonna pin this knee right here. Notice what I'm doing with my head up, hips in. As soon as I let those hips hinge a little bit, that allows him to bring this knee in on me, that would be a different path. I'm here and I start my knee slide. I'm looking for this underhook at all times. I wanna pin his chest on the mat and notice my feet. I'm already through this, this little knee slice here. So I'm pinning as I get these feet on me and I'm trying to go around, I can open it up and I'm gonna pin. Head up, hips in. This is the key right here. Keeps this shield out of the way. My elbow's gonna block that shield. My hand can block that shield. No matter what he tries to do, he tries to create space. I've got a lot of weight on him right here. Go ahead and move, Taylor. There's no movement. Bring this knee inside me here. Right here. The other thing I wanna make sure I'm doing is I'm turning his push pressure away. So as I get this underhook here, I'm also using a cross face and shoulder pressure to turn this away. Hips up, I'm driving through. And the last thing I got to deal with is this little elbow escape. He's going to try to always start. I'm going to lift that out of the way. And I'm going to pin crossbody. From here, we got a multiple submissions that we're going to go to. So the other knee slice that we're doing is that when we pass this one down, I lost when I pinned with this front knee. Right here, I can slide this through. I got to look for back, back takes here. So as I'm doing this, I'm going to drop my weight onto his chest. And I'm constantly digging this underhook right here on this far side. I can wrap up this head. As I start to wrap this head up, he might sit up into me. This is great. I'm going to go right into one of my guillotine finishes. I still got control of that head. Or I can slide that inside knee through right here. Collapse my chest on him and just pressure my knees through here with a little swisher motion.